हेलो फ्रेंड्स सेफ्टी ऑफ द कॉलिसमी इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड नाउ इट इज इंडोसाइन इन ग्रीन हैज रिवोल्यूशनाइज द वे हाउ वी कैन प्रिवेंट द सी बी डी इंजरी दिस आई सी जी हैज टू बी एडमिस्टर वन एम एल दैट इज फोर्टी फाइव मिनट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द प्रोसीड्योर इट हैज टू बी गिवेन इन एनी ऑफ द पेरीफेरल वेन and uh, it come in the 10 ml vial and you can that vial you can use in 10 percent and after intravenous injection of the icg if you have a good uh, fluorescence sensitive camera then you can see the clear cut uh, complete uh, anatomy of the cbt cystic duct because it emits near infrared ray and indocyanin green is used in laparoscopy to trace a lot of pathology so here we are using access with the 15 mm preset pressure and now the gallbladder fundus has been pushed towards the diaphragm and after that we will start the dissection here is the uvular sulcus and just above the uvular sulcus now we have started dissecting the posterior peritoneum and left hand should give anteromedial traction and then you can peritoneum posteriorly up to one third of the body of the gallbladder has to be separated silicon jaw if you will keep towards the gallbladder then there won't be any rupture and puncture of the gallbladder because as we know harmonic is a vibration and if you will use this teflon jaw anywhere it cannot transfer the vibration to the touching organ so posterior peritoneum at least one third of the body of the gallbladder is separated above the uvular sulcus and the medial traction that is anteromedial traction with the left hand has to be given now the same way once the posterior peritoneum is open after that you have to open the anterior peritoneum and for that also your left hand traction is very important so you can give anterolateral traction now and here the anterior peritoneum is separated slowly you will just cut the peritoneum with the tip of the harmonic as soon as you touch it will split it and as we know it make the hydrogen bond it breaks the hydrogen bond so it will automatically create a blade and it will cut the peritoneum alone without any underlying structure and that will beautifully open your posterior window for doing laparoscopic cholecystectomy laparoscopic cholecystectomy is one of the most frequently performed procedure by general surgeons but it has approximately 0.5% of the cbd injury reported including beginners and the um, novice surgeons and the experienced so now posterior peritoneum and we can see inferior surface of the liver is clearly visible that is one of the callot triangle in laparoscopy is inferior surface of the liver and then you can separate the body of the gallbladder from inferior surface after that you can go for the stripping of the peritoneum of the cystic pedicle so here we can see that this posterior window is enlarged and now you can just strip the peritoneum of the pedicle with holding only peritoneum and once you strip it you can just push the cbd down one of the big mistake what the surgeons they do is that they start dissecting below the uvular sulcus so we should be careful and always stripping should be from above down not from below up and opening of the anterior window ideally is the maryland is the best instrument so once the it is skeletonized and peritoneum is separated then you can have a maryland this is the posterior window we can see clearly 2.2 cm is free and inferior surface liver is visible and now the same maryland you can put it in between the cystic duct and cystic artery and you can make the anterior window so that should be the indentation should be visible if indentation is visible that means peritoneum is nicely stripped and slowly you can open the jaw and this is 2.2 cm window in between the duct and artery has been created these are the small fibrous trabeculae and the advantageous tissue which you can break and this is cystic duct this is cystic artery this is cystic duct this is cystic artery a nice window is formed 
but the beginners they do the mistake that sometime due to over tenting they go much down and then they can damage the CVD. So sometime they go here, this is the CVD below, here is the hilum and it should be a nipple effect. Once you leave it, it should be erect up. That means it is cystic duct. Sometime if accidentally we go here and hook this structure, then you definitely do the CVD injury. This is dangerous going here, this is CVD and hooking like that, you can damage the CVD. So please be aware and always remain in the correct plane. Now, now we will switch the ICG on. There is a button in the striker 1588 camera and once you switch on you can see the cystic duct, CVD, common hepatic duct very nicely. So this is the endocyanin green, the ICG mode is the iris mode in the striker 1588 camera and it has a special light source also. So it will show you common hepatic duct and after that once you are sure then you can tie a knot. Generally in our all the practice we use extracorporeal knot for the cystic duct that is our own knot that is Misra's knot that is very secure knot and even if you want to do in mass ligation or uh, subtotal partial cholecystectomy this knot can help you but uh, we routinely use the extracorporeal knot so this is outside and now this knot configuration is one hitch one wind one lock second wind second lock third wind third lock so this is Misra's knot and it is very popular. So it has to be applied and it is so secure that you will not have any chance of cystic duct clip a stone or you can, um, you can safely tie even we use it for uterine artery, renal artery, splenic artery up to 18 millimeter structure you can tie this knot and configuration is one 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 one. So it is done and now it is sliding, you can use the closed knot pusher and just you can bring it at the junction of the cystic duct with the cystic artery and you can ligate it. So it is one knot is more than sufficient as we already discussed that knots are either exactly right or hopelessly wrong. So if you will tie it in correct manner then it is exactly right and one is sufficient. And over the uh, artery, you can apply the clip also, not also. So here we are applying the clip over the cystic artery. And this is the tip is visible. First you should press it half to make a ring of the clip. And then you can adjust appropriate level. And then now you can fully clip it. So cystic duct and artery is secure. Here we will use harmonic. If you are using harmonic as scalpel, then only one clip is sufficient and one not. If you are using the hook, then you should apply two clips towards the cystic duct and one towards the gallbladder. But because harmonic also seals, so above you don't have to apply because you can see the bile is not leaking. And now it is almost done. And now the rest of the gallbladder, you can separate it easily. You can see the power of the Misra's knot, that we are applying a lot of force but it is not sleeping. Even if you pull it, it doesn't sleep. And if you pull it, it will become more tight. This is the beauty of this knot, that if you pull it, it will become more tight. And you can see the dumbbell effect. This dumbbell is fantastic. And now you can separate the rest of the part of the gallbladder by holding it. At that time, once the half of the gallbladder is separated, then ideally you should keep the light cable down so that it will show you a very good vision in between the gallbladder and liver and you can get a good areolar plane. So if you have a 30 degree telescope, you should keep the light cable down while you are separating the gallbladder from the liver. And at this point also, this teflon jaw of the harmonic scalpel should be kept towards the gallbladder so that the knocking effect of the active jaw of the harmonic should not puncture the gallbladder. And then slowly you can separate it. And here we can see it is almost done. Once you have reached to the last part of the fundus and you feel now that the gallbladder is about to take out, then we should keep it and you should inspect it below so that you can find out any cystohepatic duct of duct of Lasca or any other abnormality or bleeding. So once you are about to come out and have a look and we can see there is no bile leak, there is no blood, knot is fine, clip is fine and everything is clean after that. 
you can separate the gall bladder completely the remaining gall bladder and it will come out so this will in laparoscopic college hysterectomy it is very easy to perform with the systematic manner and not only that what you can do if you will use the icg injection before the surgery then it has a fantastic result and you can see the clear biliary anatomy so now it has been held by the claw forceps and taken out from the epigastric port so thank you very much for watching this video have a nice day god bless you